Hey everyone, so this is the current setup. It's not in its best shape, so um, I, I feel like it's time for them to get moved outside. The water level has gone significantly lower than honestly what I would like it to, but I have filled the large tank for them. This is again in my heated garage. Um, this is a smaller tank. I got them, I think, fall of last year. Um, so they've not ever lived outside. Um, the people that I got them from actually um, own a spa. So funny story, when I was getting a pedicure, um, the owner of the shop had aquariums and they had guppies in their aquariums. And so he scooped some out. Um, the two, hopefully you can see them swimming around. Um, they've done well all winter long. The water is a little bit cooler outside than the temperature in the tank. So I have a water aerator right here. I have all of my um, water plants that I did transition from last year into the garage over winter. I have my heat lamp right here. Um, I'm going to try to transition them. Like I said, the water's maybe a little bit colder than what I'd like it to be, but... Um, before I, I don't want to have to go through and clean this all out, um, if I'm not going to be moving them here shortly. So we're going to move them today. Let's see if I can get them. Here we go. There you go. Make sure they're both in there. A little bit difficult to see because it is a red bucket but I can see them both in there swimming around so I'm gonna give them like I said a little bit of time to transition I'm gonna get the water plants moved out of here and into the large tank and so I'll show you what that looks like here in a bit
Well, I think we have everything situated. I've got the water plants, um, the water lilies. I figured out that <laughs> I'd completely forgotten that um, the rest of the plants in that container, um, I don't know the name of them, they're large stocky water plants. Um, so I just about threw them all away until I was starting to rinse them and felt the roots and the bulbs underneath. Um, I've got these as well. They were given to me um, by my boyfriend's sister out of her aquarium. I'd like to put them, um, gravel them in and, and soil them in. I'm going to kind of leave them be for now. That's how I had them kind of just placed in that smaller tank um, again in the garage. Hopefully you can see the little guys over here. Um, they're shiny. I'm hoping I didn't jump the gun. I, I was super antsy. I've had this kind of prepped for them for about a week and a half now. I've just been trying to make sure that the temperature of the tank is pretty similar to the temperature of the tank that they um, are used to being in. So again, I hope, I hope tomorrow will be the true testament because this is a big transition. I think the tank I had them in originally is... Um, I'm wanting to say 20 or 25 gallons and I'm pretty sure this is a 150 um, gallon tank so quite a bit different they are super small so I don't feel as feel like they're as maybe resilient as maybe some of the larger fish would be again I've had fish in this tank before um, unfortunately the one um, I think kind of took care of the other ones uh, which made me really sad, and then I honestly was the guilty one for the, the larger um, goldfish that I had. It was completely my fault with the chemical imbalance in the tank. So I'm really hopeful these two guys do pretty well. Um, like I said, I, I'm not a fish expert whatsoever, um, especially I think the smaller the fish, it seems like it's a little harder for them to adjust um, to the situation maybe that they're in. But They've done well all winter long, so that's made me really happy. Um, the the true testament's going to be obviously transitioning them out. Um, of course, there's prey out here, you know, birds, cats, um, things of that nature. But hopefully, they've got plenty of room um, to kind of hide. They've got the plants they can kind of dodge into. So we'll keep you updated and, and see how they do um, over the next couple days or so. So this is day two update. Um, the stuff you're seeing in there is from the plant food I just put in. Um, the water lilies I just bought this past weekend look phenomenal. Um, they're doing really well. The fish seem very happy, very active. Um, so I'm very pleased. I need to scoop some of this other debris out. I'm actually gonna put the fountain that I had purchased last year. I think back in the tank I just wanted to kind of gauge and see where we were going to be at. Hopefully you can see the little guys. I feel like they have to be happy. This is a big um, improvement over the last tank they were in. Lots more space to work with. So yes, very pleased with with where we are with things. Like I said, just some plant food floating around. Hopefully you can see them, but they look happy and active. So I'm, I'm pleased. Like I said, it's day two. I was very nervous the last couple of days to see where we were uh, with these little guys, but I think they're gonna hopefully do okay so long as they can stay away from all the little creatures out here. But that is it. I will do some more posting when I get the fountain put up, hopefully this weekend. Um, like I said, I just wanted to transition them first um, before I have a lot of water kind of spilling over and uh, whatnot. So we will keep you updated with the progress of the water plants. Really looking forward to see these guys take off. Um, my little lily pads look like they're doing good. So, um, and like I said, these water lilies, they look really good too. So we will see how things go over the next week or so. Thank you so much for watching.